Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? I hope it's fantastic. Everything here is... It's good. What's that? Yeah, it's good. It's good. I've, I've had a very reflective... I've had a day of reflection. Um, I found out this morning that we lost a friend. A friend of the show, a friend of myself. Uh... He passed away, I, I believe, yesterday. Um, this friend, uh, I, I only barely knew, right? Like, I spent time with him at conventions. Um, but he loved me. And, and I know that. Like, he reached out constantly trying to get to meet up, trying to do things. And it was just like, I don't, I, I just, the timing was just really bad. You know, we would meet up at conventions uh, if we were in the same space. Uh, yeah, two years ago, three years ago at Gen Con, he bought me a copy of Scout because I was mentioning that I really wanted it and that I hadn't made it to that side of the hall yet. So he went and bought me one. Uh, just a really, a really good dude. Uh, he was also from West Virginia and he watched the show fairly regularly. Uh, he commented quite a bit. Um, but it's made me reflect because... The news sucks, right? Like, yeah, finding out that somebody you know has passed away, it's not It's not good. Uh, I've talked before about how I don't have the same relationship with death that most people seem to have. It doesn't make me sad in a sense of um, longing or whatever. I don't, I don't get... I, I'm broken that way, right? Like, um, and so it, it's not like I'm going to... So... <laughs> In this particular situation, there's part of me that wonders if my reaction to this news is is appropriate. Because, to be honest, I I knew the man fairly well. I knew his job. I knew you know his interests, and he he definitely knew me. You know, it was a semi parasocial relationship. I mean, I guess if you watch this show with any consistency, you probably know way more about me than I know about you. Uh, I try really hard to be a good friend to anybody who reaches out to me. Uh, I'm not the greatest at it. And so I've done a ton of reflections on that today. It's been a very meditative day thinking about that because those parasocial relationships are, they're still relationships. Um, they're still important. Maybe it's not a two, the same level of importance, but this man was important to me. He, he always brought joy I don't know that he ever, uh, I, like I had, there's nothing but good things to say about this man. Uh, by the way, I don't know why I'm dodging that. His name is Steve Thomas. Uh, you've probably seen him. I think he went by Steve Thomas here on YouTube in the past. He would, pub, he would post on videos and he was just a fantastic person. Just a really loving, warm person. Uh, and it's really made me think about all of this, you know, think about not death. That That's the thing. Like, this is the part where I don't have that same relationship with other people to death. Like, I don't see somebody has passed on and that makes me reflect on my own life or my own death or whatever. Not really. I mean, I guess, yes, he, in some ways he's inspiring me to be a little bit more uh, proactive but that it's not about his death it's just about i'm thinking about my current space my current where i'm at currently in my life and how i deal with or not deal with that how i treat my friends right and so i guess in some way my reaction to his passing is is bigger than i expected uh, and because he was just this kind of this figure that showed up into my life usually around convention season every year we would try to connect at least once a year that sort of thing it, it wasn't like he was uh, we were on the phone constantly like we weren't we didn't have that kind of friendship we definitely had companionship of some sort we had built over the years and um yeah it's it's a weird it's a weird day for me today thinking about that thinking about how 
how do I approach that going forward? I've hit that point in life. You know, I'm 45. I've hit that point in life where from there's going to be people dropping off from now on. Like, I, I haven't been to a funeral in a very long time. My friend's mom died last year, and we didn't. They didn't have a. They had a very private thing. I, I couldn't go. I would have. Uh, I haven't been to a funeral. I guess my former brother-in-law uh, uh, in 2017 would have been or maybe. Oh no, his father uh, in 2017. So my my kid's grandfather died in 2017. That's the last funeral I've been to. Like I and that's probably the fifth funeral I've been to in my life. Like I I haven't been. I haven't hit that point in life where people start dropping off. I also haven't hit that, you know, I also have been not a great friend. And so a lot of my friends have, I don't know, like, you know, it could be that there's a whole, been a whole lot more death in my life that I'm not aware of. But, um, in this particular instance, uh, I feel really, um, I feel lucky to have known Steve and I feel, um, grateful for all the effort he put into me and, and he put into being my friend. And I feel um, a little bit of, of um, remorse that I didn't, I didn't try harder. And but what's more important is, for today, I want to try harder. I want to be more proactive going forward. So if you're if you're one of those people, if you're a friend of mine that I haven't spoken to in a while, I'm sorry. Um, that I am not more proactive, I'm going to try something. Um, and I hope, I hope it means something to everybody. Uh, I think it means something to me. And sometimes that's all I can ever ask for. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, that, man, what a, what a downer of an episode. I got a new pedal kit to build. Um, it is another sort of bass compressor pedal. Only this one has like five knobs. I don't know what all the knobs do. It's called the Engineer's Thumb. It's apparently like a f favorite DIY pedal kit. People say it's the best compressor you can get. And it came from Germany. So I've got a new pedal kit to build and try out. We'll see what happens. Might do that this weekend. What do you got going on? Anything exciting? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends and wonderful people. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you again on Monday. Today's 1,000 plus little things happy, successful people do differently. We are learning 10 mistakes unhappy people make. Number one, thinking you have already missed your chance. Each moment of your life, including this one, is a fresh start. Three little words can release you from your past regrets and guide you forward to a positive new beginning. These words are from now on. From now on, I'm going to be a more proactive friend. Don't know what that looks like yet. Still working out the details. What are you going to do from now on?